Welcome to Nico Props. I'm Chris Fry, and on today's video, we're going to be covering the Benny 4 Mono by Nova 3D. <clears throat> Remember, if you get value from this video, subscribe, like, maybe make a comment, and hit the notifications bell because you don't want to miss out on latest videos. Anyway, I'd like to clarify before I continue that uh, I bought this machine out of my own money. Uh, I'm not being sponsored or paid for this review. Um, just so that you guys know. Now then, features of this machine. Um, <coughs> it currently has Wi-Fi, um, which I have found to be a little bit tricky when it comes to mesh networks. Um, but if you've got a standard access point, you should be fine. Uh, it has USB, also comes with a four gig USB stick. Pop that back in there. Um, and it has a RJ45 LAN connection. Color 4.5 inch touchscreen for the controls down here and uh, 8 gig onboard storage. Now what you would do um, for that onboard storage is generally uh, either over the Wi-Fi you send it the file it goes onto the storage or you send it uh, with the USB, go to file, open, go to the USB, it copies it over. Um, this way it's a bit more stable. Build platform, um, I'm going to open this up here. So. The build platform itself is uh, an aluminium or aluminium for the Americans tray, uh, CNC tray. Uh, it's got the, ME, uh, the film at the bottom and this tray also has feet on it. So when you put it on a, whoa, when you put it on a, uh, on a table, uh, it's not going to scratch the film. Obviously, as we just saw, there is a, uh, a hinged lid. Uh, much better than some of the machines I've seen. We've got to keep taking it off. I actually find that quite irritating. The any cube washing goes like that. I'm not overly keen on it. Um, so that's the build flake. Uh, build volume is uh, 130 by 80 by 150 millimeters, which is not bad. It's quite small, um, but you know, it's, it's, it's a large build plate area for the, for the cost of the machine. And we'll get to the cost a bit later on. It's, uh, it's got a 2K um, screen for underneath the VAT. Um, that is mono, obviously. Now, the resolution of this is uh, 2560 by 1620. Um, <coughs> so uh, very slightly larger than the, uh, the RGB, but we're not gonna go into too much into the comparisons. You can watch the comparison video for, um, for when I compare this to the original RGB model um, and I also speed test it. So uh, check out the card, link in the description. Um, <clears throat> the LCD on this machine also lets through uh, an additional 3.9% um, of the UV light. So obviously an increase in light. Um, the, there's something to do with the pixels as well um, that allows it to let that light through. Um, to be honest, <sighs> I didn't really follow it very much, and frankly, I don't care. So if you, want to, if you want to check that out, it's usually in the description, in the Amazon description, just click on the link below. Um, screen life is 2,000 hours, so that's ne nearly uh, three, mm, yeah, it's a bit faster. It's about three times faster than the RGB. Uh, sorry, not faster, longer um, screen time. UV light intensity is 3,500 microwatts per cubic centimeter. That's great. I mean, all of these facts and figures, but what does it actually boil down to? It boils down to a slightly larger uh, build volume on the mono. Um, it has a, uh, a more powerful UV light and the exposure time is half, usually. Now, the mono screen does allow for better transfer of light to the resin as well, which is great. Uh, <coughs> and um, yeah, it, basically with screens in resin printing, they're considered consumables. So uh, the longer that screen lasts, the better, less changes you have to do make yourself. Um, so yeah, that's great. According to the manufacturer as well, this machine, the mono compared to the RGB is supposed to be 33% faster as a speed improvement. And you can check out my, my video where I jeweled these two machines um, and, and it shows the, 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 the true speed improvements there. Go and check that video out. So for the test print, um, I did the, uh, the Halloween skull again, the, um, the demon skull from my mini factory, link in the description below. Um, I set the mono to two seconds according to the documentation provided by no, 
uh, Nova 3D, but I found I needed to add an extra half second, which I discovered from, uh, from the software, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, the reason is the back of the skull, and I'll show you a picture of it, the back of the skull there is not finished as such, but it is on the other one. Well, what's actually happened there is that that particular layer didn't get cured enough, and with the vacuum of the platform going up and down with a hollow object, it's just put too much force onto it and it's just pulled it apart. So it's just not cured enough, essentially. That print took about four hours and 56 minutes as well. Um, so that's not a bad time really for that kind of size print. The resin that I used was the Nova 3D uh, resin, uh, just the standard gray stuff really. So, software. So let's talk about the software on this. Now, I produced this file on Chai Box. I put all the supports in and, and stuff and I tried to print onto this machine. And the platform just kept sitting there going up and down, up and down, up and down, but not moving up through the layers. It just kept sitting there and there was nothing on the display um, for the bitmap image. So I was confused by this. And I spoke to, um, to Nova 3D and they said that uh, this particular printer only works with the Nova Maker software, unfortunately, at the moment. Now that may be down to something to do with the, the screen. I imagine it's to do with the pixels and things. Um, that's probably why. But uh, check out the dueling video because that Nova Maker software makes a real difference um, compared to using Chai Box, um, so check out that video where I dual the two printers. Um, so for the t for the test, I, I, I basically had to um, uh, print out the, the the or sorry take the model for the for the skull, put it into Chai Box, put all the supports in, and the skate and everything, and then export it as an STL and use it in Nova Maker. So if you've got this machine, that's what you've got to do if you want to use Chai Box. Now Chai Box will allow you to do hollowing out, drilling holes and that kind of thing as well, where the Nova Maker software doesn't really support that. Uh, it's just more of just a slicer really. Um, for the testing and for the printout on this, I didn't use Wi-Fi either. Um, I, I used it, I used the USB for this. So uh, that ended up getting copied to the internal storage. And as I said before, the reason for that is so that it is um, it's, it's not as slow. We've got better, better uh, transfer of the file and the data. Um, so if you're picking this up as a new 3D printer for yourself, you might need some extras, paper towel. I would definitely recommend getting a Costco membership or something, because you're gonna need a lot of paper towels uh, for the cleanup of the resin. Isopropyl alcohol, um, this is in a spray bottle. The spray bottle comes with the machine, but you've got to buy the isopropyl alcohol. Um, you need gloves. I, w I didn't wear gloves for a couple of seconds thinking it would be okay to handle the resin. Uh, wash my hands immediately, and I've had an allergic reaction to it. So always wear gloves, nitrile gloves. Um, also get a filter like this. This is a, uh, a stainless steel mesh filter with a collapsible silicon funnel. Uh, I use this in my resins, put that into the resin bottle and then I can pour the resin through and it filters it and in case there's any bits in the tank when I pour it back in. So those are some handy bits, links as usual in the description below. Um, so what are my thoughts on this printer? It retails on Amazon at the time of filming for £399. In the US, it's currently awaiting stock. Um, now, I did ask Nova 3D about this, um, and they said the US stock is actually on its way and it will be there very soon. So do check back and check these links um, uh, and the links below because those are my marketing links and it helps me out, which is great, you know. Um, Personally, going back to the machine, I, I think the improvements that the Nova 3D have made with the mono over the, the, uh, the RGB are definitely worth it. Um, it's resulted in a decent speed improvement. It's well worth the extra cost in my opinion. And as they say, time is money. So check out my, uh, my video testing the, the mono against the RGB. I know I've mentioned this a few times in the video um, and I'm gonna put it here. Um, 
and uh, make sure you've liked the video, subscribed, uh, pop a comment in the uh, in, in below this video. Tell me what you would use a 3D printer for. I'm very keen on that. Let's have a conversation going about who, who's going to use it for what, and it'd be nice to actually discuss with you guys how you would use it. Uh, obviously check out my other videos, there's going to be chances to win stuff in those videos as well. I'm going to be giving away a resin 3D printer in an upcoming video. So if you're subscribed, you will get a notification for that video. Thank you for sticking with the video and I'll catch you next time.